Raina's great. She's very talkative, very smart, loves playing with her kitchen toys and her dolls and her puppy dog and very adventurous, no fear at all. It all happened in uh, Thanksgiving of 2019. We were in Chicago visiting my sister and her family down there and uh, the day before Thanksgiving, my wife pointed to my daughter's neck right in here and said, what's this little lump here? It felt to me like a swollen lymph node. I really didn't think anything of it and said, okay, when we get back to Fargo, we'll go see her doctor and just have him check things out. Tuesday after when we got our appointment with the doctor, it was, he examined, next thing you know, it's x-ray, MRIs, all this stuff over the next three days and boom, you're we hit with a cancer diagnosis. She had stage four neuroblastoma. Nothing can prepare you for hearing that your five month old baby has stage four cancer. We were ready, prepared to do absolutely anything, no matter what it was. Her tumor started out, uh, I guess, right behind the heart, and it slowly enveloped the heart, uh, up along the spine, enveloped the top of the left lung, and what we felt right here was where it was breaking through the chest cavity. So it broke through the chest cavity, up along inside to the base of her skull and then infiltrated the spine just a little bit. Raina's treatment involved chemotherapy, which she had ended up having to do four different cycles, and I would spend the nights in the hospital there with her. Then it was constant monitoring. Every week we would come here to have her dressings on her chest changed where the tubes going into her were. We had to be really vigilant to make sure she wasn't having any complications. The big fears are always there's a chance the cancer could come back. And there's fears that due to the chemotherapy, there is long-term effects that sometimes can come about, whether it's hearing changes or other things that you have to worry about and monitor. So that's why we always come back here to Roger Morris Cancer Center and Center for Children's because they help us monitor that and make sure nothing is coming up that is due to either the cancer or the treatment that got rid of the cancer. Raina's prognosis today is very good. She's had no, uh, that we can tell, side effects from the chemo come up yet. My hopes and dreams for Raina, one that would be, that I would love to see is if she could become a great piano player. She's got big hands, long fingers. I noticed that right away when she was born that she seemed to have those perfect hands for playing the piano. The care Raina received at Sanford Children's was phenomenal. Having care close to home is one of the best things you can possibly hope for. Words can't express how thankful we are. I mean, you can say thank you all you want, but it, it doesn't even get close to how deep it really means what they do to help us out. You've got one of the best resources you could possibly have right here in your hometown in Sanford Children's and Roger Maris Cancer Center because they can do just about anything you need to help take care of your kid.